right, pumpkin steel cutouts for breakfast. So this will be an Instant Pot book. I actually kind of like the texture and the consistency of the steel cutouts much more than uh, the regular like quick oats. These are a little bit more chewy. The quick oats are kind of like a big pile of mush. Not the biggest fan of them, but I really, really like this. Don't tell me. Hey baby. Just so you know, it's, it's pretty cold out today, so mommy and daddy want you to put your coat on. Do you have a fur coat? Yeah, same goes for you too, bubs. He's like, what the f are you talking about? <laughs> Hannah was just making food in the Instant Pot for the dogs, and she just put the biggest mishmash of like, it's like rice, three, two or three different types of beans, some like canned jackfruit. What else did you put in there? Like cucumber, a B complex pill, a B12 pill, just a whole mishmash, and she just released the pressure from the Instant Pot, and it smells like, I can smell it over here, it smells terrible. Oh, she put berries in there as well, like holy moly. Anyways, I just got these in the mail today. So these are like little personalized stickers that I ordered on this one website. I'll put it down below, not sponsored by them or anything. I actually had to pay 20 bucks to get the 10 of these stickers. Actually, I got the recommendation from Bananiac because I saw that he had some of these stickers on his own bike. So I was just like, well, I gotta, I gotta have them myself. So. Put this on the giant, I can put this on my specialized bike as well. And then, so then I'll still have like eight stickers left and I'll probably put one on my helmet and then I'll probably just hold on to the rest of them and just maybe put them on bikes that I get in the future. But I just thought that these were really cool. It kind of makes your bike look like it's somewhat of a professional bike. And I like that I got the little, where is it? The little Canadian flag on there to represent my Canadian Home maze. It's a really crummy day outside, so I don't know if we're gonna go out and do anything. I got something else in the mail. So today's big mail time day. In other videos, we've kind of shown you how we use like our uh, motorized slider to get the sliding shots for like some of the recipe videos. I've, we've had it for, I don't know, I think it was like since like August or September of 2015. We've actually used it a pretty fair bit and the controller here um, it stopped like working in one direction, so it would go one way, but when you use the switch to go the other way, it just like stopped working. So I just emailed the company, uh, which is Revolve, and they just sent me a new one in the mail. So that was really nice of them to send that to me, free of charge. And I guess when you spend like $600 on a camera slider, you should probably, like it's good to have good customer service and probably for them, something like this might only cost, you know, like five or 10 bucks. So to keep a happy customer, it's a cheap little uh, fix for them. So thank you very much, Jeremy from Revolve Camera. Anyways, that's my excitement so far for today. I think I'm gonna work on a couple more YouTube videos. So I'm just gonna keep pounding those ones out. Anna's sitting out in the other room. I don't know why, I haven't even been farting today. So how's it going, bubs? You don't like being on camera, do you? He normally likes to play tug of war, but whatever. Looks like absolute shit, but Bubba and Dewey just absolutely love it. All right, so I just finished recording two YouTube videos. I've done two recipes for the Instant Pop book today, and also wrote one blog post which correlates with one of the videos that I just recorded. So there's been a lot of work at home. I actually haven't even left. Actually, I did leave the apartment. I took out the recycling. It was almost like storming out earlier. It was just crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna keep working on that. Hannah and the dogs are out here. I don't know what they're doing. So what are you guys doing? I gotta get my phone charged. That's pretty dope. That's what your shirt says, that's cute. So I made like a black eyed pea kind of like chili, I guess you could call it. And uh, it turned out really nice. I'm gonna enjoy that for dinner. That'll be in the in Instant Pot book as well. Oh yeah. Black eyed pea chili. White rice, good to go. Doing some video editing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks Look at just him, like, like... Dewey's kind of like leaning over like, is that our food? <gasps> it looks like... Just, just, ugh. Oh. I can't believe they enjoy eating it. I fucking love it. This is just... <laughs> like, oh my god, there's like gonna be... <gasps> Yeah, it touched you, it touched you. 
vegetable. <laughs> yeah. it's, all, it's all the same food that we eat. It's just in a different mush. You gotta yeah. get their peanut butter. They're gonna lose their mind. Oh, there's like so many chunks in here. You guys are still staying there, right? No, stay, stay. Just so pumped up. I'll keep your food in the dish, brah. Come on, what is this? I don't know how they like it, but... Yeah, competitive eaters. That's what Bubba's like. He's just pounding through this. So another edition of playing Skippo with our non-sponsored LaCroix, or LaCroix. We're a bunch of hypocrites, whatever. We're gonna, they're gonna give it to us in the comment section today. Yeah. Oh. Also, the, like, you can't feed a dog vegan food or it's gonna die. Whole bullshit gonna come up too. So yeah, you saw Bubba and Dewey's, uh... So if you say, if you say the F word around them, then they get all excited, so... We'll just say... Comida. Comida? Comida. Dewey might understand that, but I can't understand. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so you saw what goes into their food. Usually it's a mishmash of, like, whatever we have and we don't want to eat and... No. We don't give them like garlic or onions. We don't give them anything that they could have a reaction to. We make sure to like give them a variety. So like today they had berries, they had some other fruit, they had coconut, flax seeds, two different types of beans, brown rice, an old cucumber. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's different every time that we make it, but it doesn't matter, like they just love it so much. Yeah, like, they just eat it up like you wouldn't believe. Baba, Baba just gets so jacked about the food every single day now. Yeah. Because he's probably just so used to eating kibble his entire life that like... He gets so excited. And I, yeah. like I feel better giving them food that we've made because I, like think about it. It's like, think if you had to eat the same exact kibble every day for every meal, that would be so boring. And I know people would be like, well they're dogs. It's like, Still, it'd be so boring when you can like cook them stuff that has all the stuff that's in their food is exactly what was in their kibble. It's just fresh. It's not mm -hmm. like if you look at their kibble, oh, I put oatmeal in there too. So if you look at what's in their food, it's literally just what was on the bag. And then we also put like a B12 supplement in there, some B vitamin supplements, and all that kind of stuff. But if you want to make your own dog food, just look it up and it's not hard to do, you can totally feed them a vegan diet, it's super healthy, like there's so much research done on vegan um, diets on dogs that they end up living so much longer because they're not, like normal vegan or normal dog food has so much junk in it, like it's not even, it's just garbage that they're throwing away, you know, so they just mm -hmm. grind it up and either turn it into a hot dog or turn it into dog food. <laughs> like, so all in all, they're absolutely, they're, they're uh, way happier eating like that. Yeah. Way more excited for their food. And I think they're, like, Dewey had diarrhea for a really long time. We had to put um, psyllium husk in his food just so that he could have a solid poop. Like, ever since we started feeding him, nor like, the stuff that we cook in the Instant Pot, he hasn't had any diarrhea. Yeah. They haven't thrown, like, Bubba hasn't really thrown up either. Bubba has, like, a weak stomach because he had a surgery when he was a baby, so... I think it just digests a lot better. It doesn't take yeah. as much water. It's they poop a lot though. Like their poops are they poop ve they're very much more consistent and all the time it seems and <laughs> like Dewey especially, he he can't really hold it in very well, but Bubba um, can hold it for yeah. Anyways, we're gonna finish up our amazing fun night of Skipbo. And today's been very gloomy and tomorrow's gonna be gloomy as well, so just working all day, which isn't very exciting to show you guys, but yeah. whatever. It's a day in the life. We'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Peace! That was like a perfect piece. <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. <laughs>